Hi, we're at the 2025 Paris Air Show. We are now on the booth of Austrian company Schibel. They are designing and producing the famous camcopter VTOL UAV uh, for many navies around the world. We are now meeting with uh, Lobos Schlamek, head of uh, Schibel in France. Lobos, great to see you. Welcome on the booth and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, so you are showcasing here a number of things. First, this uh, S100 with a lot of uh, payload systems uh, fitted. I've never seen so many systems on board the uh, S100. Can you please first tell us what they are and uh, what you are showcasing here? Okay, so the, the UAV which we display here is basically the configuration of the French Navy augmented by uh, two additional payloads. So in the middle you can see the MX-10 EOIR for the observation and in the nose the PT-8, the, the black one, which is meant for the detection of anomalies, objects on the sea. So this is the configuration the French Navy uses today. The tube you can see under the tail is a radar which will be test actually tested next week by the French Navy on one of their air vehicles. And on the sides, you can see launchers, uh, Sunoboy launchers, which we have been already testing several times, uh, especially during the exercise, exercise in Portugal, Repmus, which will be uh, coming again in September this year. So with this configuration, the S100 can conduct uh, both uh, ISR and uh, ASW? Exactly, yes. Uh, that's a lot of capability in uh, such a compact uh, airframe. So there is another uh, configuration which has been, been tested uh, by the French Navy. It is equipped with a bathymetric LiDAR to be able to detect to, or the, to do the cartography on the surface of the water, which has uh, various applications. It's, uh, it may be used for the basic cartography uh, the, the, on the shore or for what is called the rapid environment assessment for amphibious operations which are definitely an area where the French helicopter carriers are used for amphibious operations and then the most relevant use in the future times is the detection of mines in the sh in shallow water so these three uh, let's say the one payload the lidar can cover these three missions on the same platform how many airframes are currently uh, or systems are currently used by the French Navy? So the French Navy has currently uh, in operations four comp uh, three complete systems, one ground control station and two air vehicles for each, plus one control station which is land-based. The three uh, complete systems are deployed on the Mistral class helicopter carriers. Okay. So that was the current situation. On your booth, you're also showcasing the future S300, which is a bigger system, larger. Uh, the launch customer for this, I believe, is uh, South Korea. Uh, for the ROC Navy, what is current, the, the current situation with the S300 program? We started the flight trials with what we call the Prototype Zero in February. Now we are preparing the first flight of the prototype in the final shape and we hope we will be able to demonstrate this prototype on the French shore uh, by September, October this year. French shores? French wow. So you're really pushing this for uh, French Navy as well? The French Navy is very happy with the S100 and as the S300 in many aspects is very close to the S100. So for example, the Grand Coastal Station is the very same. The training uh, the difference will be like between an Airbus A320 and that, uh, A321. So it's just an additional module to the existing one, uh, which is not only uh, cost saving on the training, but also uh, the, the, the Navy will be allowed to use the same pool of pilots for both platforms. So it's, it's very natural for us to propose this solution to all, existing, to all our existing customers and the French Navy is one of our most prestigious customers. Same mission sets, just bigger payload, larger endurance? Uh, so, basically the S300 will be able to do most of the missions the S100 can do today. But on, the, on top of this, uh, there is one crucial mission today for which the S100 is a little bit too light and which is perfectly suited for the S300 is the anti-submarine warfare. 
Yes. With lightweight torpedoes. Uh, that may come in later stage. I mean, the very light ones, like the Black Shark from uh, Leonardo. That may come in later stage today. Uh, the, the development, it's a project we, uh, it's a European uh, Defense Fund project uh, headed by Thales called Secure in which uh, Shiblu provides the aerial platform as one of which will be fitted especially with uh, Suno Flash Suno Boys from Thales. So we will be carrying eight of these Suno Boys on S100. Uh, and then the next project uh, is uh, to integrate a magnetic anomaly detector on the S300. So really S100 current missions, S300 the same, plus anti-submarine warfare. All right, Lubos, thank you very much. You're welcome.